Hi everyone, welcome to this special edition of Journey Journals. I'm here with my good friend Linda and we're just here to give you an update on our little friend Nathan who's in India at the moment. Welcome Linda. Hi Linda. Four months ago we met little Nathan, a little boy with a heartwarming, with a heartwarming smile and a heart of gold. We all know this family story as his parents Sylvia and Eddie have done their best to tell the story in the best way they can. Nathan is a fighter and a little warrior. His journey has united people from all walks of life all across the globe. It's quite difficult to adequately put language around everything that he's gone through. Right now, Nathan is soldiering on in India with all that he has. And we're so thankful to each and every person whose heart has been knit in to this cause in one way or the other. Hello, my name is Linda and I met um, Nathan's family towards the end of last year trying to help them raise money um, for Nathan's journey to India where he needed a bone marrow transplant. Um, I put Sylvia in touch with my dear friend Dr. Serby who's in Delhi and she helped them organize everything that side. Um, I knew where they were going because I had taken my husband to Madame Tamedi City about five years ago and was so impressed with the doctors and the staff and the hospital and all the equipment and everything that they've got there that I was quite happy to recommend to Sylvia to go there and to help them, to reassure them to get there. Everybody that's met them, especially Nathan, just falls in love with him. When he landed in Delhi, he ran up to Dr. Serbia and gave her a big hug and she was hooked. Um, I've spoken to family and friends overseas and everybody that's heard their story has been taken with Nathan and Sylvia and Eddie. Um, I've tried daily to keep sending them messages from Zimbabwe um, to just because I know what it's like being there with amongst strangers and in a, a different culture and Sylvia has been um, amazing. Um, she's kept up her strength and her faith as has Eddie and have been sending us these incredible um, inspirational stories um, of their journey with Nathan. It has not been easy and it's not gone as they had hoped. Um, they managed to raise $90,000 to take with them. The money is now running out and they need more. Nathan is still in hospital um, after 80, it's probably nearly 90 days. Um, such a brave little fellow. He's managed to get through all of the most horrendous trauma that I don't even think I would have managed. He turned three when he was in hospital, so he's very little. Um, they are appealing now for at least $20,000 and we would really like to ask everybody to be part of Nathan's journey and to please help donate to keep this little boy going and to get him home to New Chasa and Maine. The one dollar campaign was miraculously successful and we are back again with another appeal. The doctors in India have prescribed another drug and the family's resources are dwindling. So we need you to help in whatever way you can. Give a dollar, give two dollars, ten dollars, whatever you can. We are appealing to you. Let's extend hope to Nathan and let's help save him.